switched on the ice equipment for pre-locating the fault. I'll now put a pulse onto the cable to get a reference for the ice. Arm the test set and I have my reference. I'll now arm the set and put a high voltage pulse. The reference pulse was at about 300 volts. This pulse is at about 7,000 volts. I'll turn the test set off. I have a lovely reference pulse. Now I've got my second pulse. I can overlay both curves on one another. Expand the trace. And on the first pulse we can see the fault hasn't broken down as there's no downward dip. On the second trace we can see this is the cable connection and this is the fault position. If we overlay the two traces together we can clearly see the fault location. I have two cursors. If I adjust the first cursor to where the cable test cables are connected and bring the second cursor to the start of the dip. I've now shown the pre-location of fault position at 292 metres. Having pre-located the fault, we're now going to carry out a pinpoint location using an acoustic method with this capacitor discharge set. I'm going to sw switch the set to surge and over here I have my meter for kilovolts. This one reads up to 30,000 volts. I've only got it set to 7 kV maximum though. I wind the variac up on the test set and see the kilovolt needle come up which will go to a maximum of 7 kV. And on this set I can put a single shot down it. Now, so that I can go and listen to the fault with the sensitive listening equipment, I can switch this over to frequency and the test set will now pulse into the cable at regular intervals somewhere between 6 and 7 seconds creating an acoustic noise creating an acoustic noise where the fault position is